right, this is a Twin Flame reading. Could be also a soulmate reading. Uh, depending on what your situation is or who you find your future spouse to be. Or uh, partner. Alright, so we have Pixie. We have the, the Roses. And we have the Bad Marks Sanrio Fluff. Alright, so pick whichever one resonates for you, and we will get started with the reading to find out what's going on. We're going to start off with the first one. We have Pixie. Alright, so we have, how does your uh, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine feel towards you in this relationship? It could be either or. We have... Knight of Cups in reverse. So, unacquainted love, heartbreaker, manipulator, one night stand. Um, create, creating a thing or cheating, deception, disappointment, invoking uh, offers or proposals, uh, bad news, procrastination, obsession, troublemaker, tantrums, moodiness, and creature. Creative blocks. Alright. Creator of creative blocks. Okay. So your person's probably not 100% sold on the idea of twin flames or soulmates or whatever. And they're, they're probably, you know, off doing some craziness. Okay, so uh, what do they want to tell you but can't? We have temperance. <laughs> so the temperance... In reverse is imbalance, self-indulgence, excess, clashing, lack of perception, uh, discord, ruthlessness, hastiness. So there's something here that is kind of like, I hate to say it, small dick energy. <laughs> They're kind of like, I'm just going to fool around and see what the fuck happens. Um, and this could be girl or boy energy or whatever the hell, but, um, yeah, they're, they're just not ready for a commitment because they're immature. They don't know what they want. If, if you're able to live on your own, you know what the fuck you want, all right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you that straight. Um, so, anyway, number three, um, what are the blockages with this person? So we have six of pentacles in reverse. So lacking abuse of generosity, abuse of power position, a uh, gift of strings attached. So they're so they're kind of one of these people that there has to be strings attached in order for them to be interested. It's either somebody's a little bit floozy. Or they give it away like goldfish at a fair. Or they, they're kind of stick around and they're able to get manipulated. But there's something there that is able to play to their own insecurities to um, kind of make them feel empowered. Which is totally ridiculous and retarded. But anyway, that's, that's what it is. Some people want power. Some people want a commitment. You know, you can't have both. Anyway. So, we have the outcome of this whole bit. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So, a uh, boring job failure, lack of effort, uh, lack of confidence, uh, commitments, uh, ambition that falls flat, focus, and let's see, a workshop, uh, poor quality, and a rush job on a particular aspect. So there's nothing here really to explain either. There's no channel messages. I just feel like this person is just in it for the thrill of the chase. And usually that gets old really fast. They'll, they'll be like, oh, I don't know what I want. They know what they want. They just don't want to tell you because then you'll be judging them, you know. They, they want somebody that they can easily control and you're probably an independent person that has their own money. So, there's that. But anyway, 
Um, group one, hopefully you find happiness, you know, elsewhere. You'll probably find another um, soulmate soon because there is a couple eclipses happening. But um, hopefully everything works out. You find somebody great, and um, you know, it's it. It's a uh, kind of like a co-op, you know, cooperation. Maybe you'll meet at work. That's kind of why cooperation came to mind, I guess. But I think you're gonna meet at work probably during lunchtime with this new person that's coming into your life. It's either you meet up or you meet at work or something. But anyway, whatever the case is. I wish you the best, alright? And hopefully, you give me a recap if anything happens, okay? Just say it's group one and, you know, tell your entire story and life story and all that. But anyway, I read everything you give me, so <laughs> the longer it is, the, the better I feel about everything. Anyway, I'm going to move on to the next group and make sure that you have a couple of self-care days, I would say. Because I feel this person's toxic, you know? Anyway. I wish you all the best, Group 1, okay? Laters. Uh, roses. Alright, so what does your Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine feel towards the relationship? We have the Magician. The Magician in Reverse... Manipulation, greed, uh, misuse, ability, and untrustworthiness, trickery, uh, cultivating, uh, cunning, and lack of mental clarity. So there's a kind of a thing where they're probably not in a good place. They're kind of tricking people into being with them and manipulating a particular person or trying to get who they want through manipulation. Let's just put it to you that way. It could be you or somebody else. Um, I'm not sure. It doesn't tell me anything. But they could be kind of playing the field is kind of what I'm feeling. But, you know, that's either or. So, what they can't tell, what they want to tell you but can't. We have a strength card. Uh... Let's see. So, inner strength, courage, bravery, confidence, compassion, uh, tempting, controlling, overcoming self-doubt. So, they kind of doubt the relationship will work. Um, I feel like they're moving away from you and the relationship. They don't understand if it's going to work or you're into it or you like them or you think everything's fake or you don't believe in soulmates or twin flames. But whatever the case is, they kind of feel like they're not sure. They're like, I want somebody who is there for me, but I wish it was you, but I don't believe in this, and I don't believe you believe in this, and I don't think that you're into it. And I just feel like there's so much that you need to discuss with this person to get it off your chest and to get everybody on the same page. <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, great lunch break, you know. Um... So, let's see. We have number three with what are the blockages here. Um, we have the seven of wands. The seven of wands in reverse is folding on your beliefs, giving up or giving in, admitting defeat, yielding, quitting, uh, suspension, weakness, uh, being timid, Let's see, um, lack of courage, self-confidence, stamina, um, failing to defeat a certain power or resolution, compromise, scandal, losing moral authority. So, I feel like your, your person's kind of like, they don't seem interested, um, but to be honest with you, the if somebody's gone like like ghosted you or something, usually it's because there's other things going on in their life, and they can't really like commit to a relationship right away. 
I know, it happened to me. Like, I went from 0 to 20. Like, April was... April was, like, really bad. So it's like I was in between a relationship and my job. And I was just like, I don't know. Like, if I lose my job, I'm gonna need a relationship. And if I lose my relationship, I'm gonna need a job. So, um, yeah. It's it's kind of weird. Like, you, you figure out what's, like worth keeping and what's worth losing, you know, and it's, it's not always the best decision, you know, and I feel like that's where it is right now with your relationship with this person. Okay, so number four is the outcome. We have the four of swords. So finding mental strength, awakening, rejoining the world, coming out of isolation, recovering slowly, Healing, mental breakdown, collapse, burnout, um, restlessness, not taking care of oneself, lack of self-protection, not accepting counseling, care or support, losing faith in what you enjoy. So, I feel like both of you are just kind of burnouts at this point, and that's not a bad thing. I just feel like it's not the right time for this relationship. It's probably too much going on. So you both have to work on yourselves in order to make this happen if you want. Because there's so many blocks. The only thing that's here is like inner strength. So yeah, you have to do that. So inner strength and supporting each other. So you might actually be on the friend basis for right now. Which isn't really a bad place to be. So you know, take what you can get. I feel like once you become good friends and then it will develop into a relationship, but don't expect anything, you know, it's like, it'll happen by accident, <laughs> but, um, yeah, you have to be there for each other, not on, on a friend level, on a more coping, compatible relationship type of way, like, if you're not getting a relationship that you want, you leave, <laughs> you don't stick around for the friendship. I feel like a lot of guys will do that. They'll stick around because they think they have a shot with a girl. And they just like them as a friend. If you're not getting the relationship you want, gentlemen, leave. <laughs> but if it's kind of like copacetic where it's like it's a friendship and you both have agreed on it's a friendship, then don't really cross that level of relationship. Unless you talk to them about it, you know, and see how they feel about it. But anyway, don't expect anything, you know, don't, you know, coerce yourself into something that's not going to pan out to what you believe it should be. Anyway, group two, hopefully this helps you out, and I will see you in the next reading, hopefully, alright? Later. I have a bit of a migraine, but anyway, we have bad marks. Alright, so, we have, number one, how does your Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine feel towards a relationship with you? We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So, overly critical, pessimistic, lack of empathy, rude, malicious, gossip, manipulative, harsh, bitter, spiteful, um, vindictive. Nasty, cruel intentions, cheater, unfaithful, um, scatterbrain, mental uh, forgiveness, poor communication, dysfunctionality, um, obsessive, dependent, not learning from past mistakes, absent person or absent parents. Might have had a bad childhood. Um, and. Uh, some type of infidelity. You might be a cheater, player, not doing the right thing. You might also be in a different relationship. So, from their perspective, you might be a cheater, you might be a player, you might be a little bit of a flirt. Um, and they're kind of like not with it. They're just like, you should be with me. Um, I, I don't really like being around people that are, like, possessive in that way. That's weird. But anyway, um, number two, we have, uh, what do they want to tell you but can't? 
we have Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands in reverse is, uh, let's see, insurmountable problems. Uh, let's see, beating a dead horse. We have uh, duty bound resignments to their fate, too much responsibility, stress, a cross, a heavy thing to bear, breakdown, no stamina, uh, not up to the challenge, working hard to get nowhere, learning to say no, off uh, load dumping, um, let's see, letting go of something. So, your person could actually want to let go of you so that you can find somebody else or do what the hell you're going to do. And they're going to do whatever the hell they're going to do. But I feel like they're, they've they been trying to get your attention for the past couple weeks or so. But I feel like there's been other things happening in your life that you're kind of not telling anybody. And they could be very devastating. Uh, things that are happening in your life you you haven't told your best friend about them so this person's kind of like being petty they're like oh and you should be with me and all this stuff and then you're kind of like my parents just died you need to fucking shut the fuck up like you know it's like that type of energy like you're not paying attention to the looks you're getting from other people you're paying more attention into your own emotional and spiritual needs. So this person's kind of more obsessed with you than you are of them. They might have a bit of a crush. Um, so what are the blockages? We have the King of Pentacles. So this person might be successful. They might automatically be... Um, yeah. Or they might need to actually grow up and become more mature so that you'll be attracted to them and they can... It help you take on a lot of things, you know, whatever it is. So, let's see, mature, grounded male, successful, wealthy business person, a betterment of oneself and taking risks, an empire, a thriving, high status, loyal, faithful, uh, dependable, supporting, encouraging, um, cohesive, and working hard to pay off things and seeing things through to the end. So this person kind of needs to grow up and not be so possessive over things they don't own. Um, it's kind of like those people with what multi-level marketing schemes. They're so possessive over uh, their products good and all this shit. And it's not. Um, it's like y'all need to get your money back. But, um, I feel like your person, your divine masculine, divine feminine, need to grow up and take on more responsibility than what they have been. I feel like they're kind of, like, either entitled or they don't want to take on anything that's in the adult realm of everything. Um, and actually become the partner that you need in your life, you know, that type of thing. They just think that they're entitled to you under the circumstances of you deserve me at my worst, you know. It's, it's like you need to do some self-improvement, you know. Nobody wants you at your worst. They want you at your best, you know. And some people don't see that, you know. It's, it's, it's like draft in the fucking air vents. Anyway, so the outcome of all this, we have the... Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is mature, grounded, female business person, high status, um, social butterfly, generosity, loyal, prosperity, success, financially independent, wealthy, luxury, homemaker, the finer things in life, down to earth, organization, um, practicality, no nonsense type of person. Um, welcoming, nurturing, probably a witch, a healer, such as myself, and, um, wonderful person, or mother, spouse, ideal person for marriage. 
Um, so, we do have a channeled message. So, good fit regards to money, power, status, and how you're perceived by the world. So, this is like end game goals. But your partner has to do their job in becoming who they need. Uh, like, who you need them to be. You need a counterpart. So, if they become the king of pentacles, and you become the queen of pentacles yourself, it's a pairing, you know, it's, it's all good pairings, but, um, it takes a lot of work to become self-sufficient and financially stable, okay, so it's, it's gonna take a lot of sacrifice, all right, so hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form, group three, and I will see you in the next reading, all right, hopefully everything works out, and you do work on yourselves, and hopefully your counterpart works on themselves, and you both become self-sufficient, the power couple, the trivecta of couples, and, um, you know, you see it through, you know, it becomes almost like growing a, growing a more efficient second hand, but anyway, I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later.